Hey guys, and welcome back to another random distractions uh, video uh, gameplay experience. And um, we're playing Jurassic Park the game. And in this one, we made it uh, down in the elevator to this un underwater rotunda. And um, and it looks like Dr. Sorkin is uh, trying to speak to somebody. They are extremely endangered. You're not listening to me. Hmm. I guess he's trying to convince them to stop the bomb. some sort of thing there. Let me try opening the door first. I can assume it's locked. It's locked from the inside. Yep. All right, so maybe it's up to us to unlock it up here. Hey, Dad, this looks like an intercom up here. What? Where? Good find, honey. Laura, it's me, Jerry. Laura? Jerry, I hear you, and I'm glad you're here. This is gonna be a lot easier now. What have you been doing? We're gonna stop the bombing, Jerry. This island must be preserved. Um, it's locking him in. I have taken the remaining survivors hostage. Hmm. There are four others, three Americans and one Costa Rican. I won't let them go unless the plans to bomb the island are completely rescinded. You have no right to hold us like this! Rights are just an ideological construct. Don't turn this into a, a philosophy debate! What rights do the dinosaurs have? Don't they have the right to survive? Do their rights outweigh any of ours? It is not our rights versus theirs. Our dinosaurs are phantoms. Majestic as they may be, alive as they may be, we brought them into a world that is no longer prepared for them. We have a responsibility to keep them isolated and under reign for the safety of our ecosystem. It's not rights, it's responsibility. And we have a responsibility to preserve our creations and allow them a chance to survive on their own terms. Mm. Mm. Billy, will InGen stop the bombing? Doubt it. InGen is not the one dropping bombs, it's the U.S. military, and the contingency is based around a biohazard cover story. She may just be delaying the inevitable. If you don't offer me some sort of guarantee that the island will be preserved, I will have to escalate matters. This is lunacy! Fine, put the military on the phone. Hello? Oh, I bet you she's gonna threat, threat them, threatening them with the releasing the ocean one. What are they saying? Are they going to stop the bombs? Laura! Laura, please, listen to them. Listen to reason. You're being irrational. Nature is irrational. Rationalizations haven't gotten results. I think it's time to put matters back in nature's hands. Hmm. Laura, there are other options here. Holding us against our will to save the dinosaurs is only one poorly thought out solution. You're smarter than that, Laura. I know, Jerry. I know what I'm doing. I clearly expressed the consequences of threatening this island. I scored a line in the sand that has been ignored and trampled over by InGen, by the government, and now I exercise my resolve. Laura? I'm going to free the Mosasaur. Are you mad? A land dinosaur paddling to the mainland is one thing. But you're talking about releasing an apex predator into over 70% of the global ecosystem. It's only one. It can be recaptured. Before it eats the last... Mm. Oh, don't be dramatic. Laura, don't. Too late. <sighs> Plan B. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Sorry, Jerry. For the sake of this island and the scientific treasure it holds, I have been forced to take an action. It's not too late. We can reverse this. No. I lock the system now. There's no oh, no. I've opened the gates and the Mosasaur is free to leave. Laura, you have to- No, Jerry. This isn't up for debate. We have to show in- It's coming for us. No! Oh. Oh, dang. That's open to the bottom. Everybody, be cool and stay away from the window. Be cool? That's right. What? You want an I told you so? <laughs> I don't know about you, but I came here to make a phone call. Hello, this is William Yoder, ID 4122. Put me through to Haskell. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The U.S. Embassy. Report as follows. The island is completely overrun. Alpha Team killed in action. Save one. Myself. Bravo Team killed in action. Two helicopters disabled. Two civilian casualties. I have access to a seaworthy boat and I will evacuate the remaining survivors. Yes, sir. The military may proceed. 90 minutes. Understood, sir. Hmm. Narrow and a half. What's happening? Who, who did you call? That's far enough. What? You're not coming with me. There's going to be a tragic accident, Jerry. Nima, we have everything we need. We're finishing this without them. What? No. What do you mean, no? We've got an agreement, remember? An agreement doesn't involve killing Jerry and Jess. What's going on? I'm sorry, Jerry. I was sent here to retrieve dinosaur embryos from InGen. I... I don't understand. You're... you're a corporate spy? Yes. Damn it, Nima! I trusted you! It's not like that. Yoder took the can. He wants it for himself. I'm trying to help you and Jess. What can? A can of shaving cream. It has a compartment to smuggle the embryos off the island. Damn it, Nima. You're blowing it. No, you are. Oscar put his faith in you. He may have been a devil, but he wore his sins on his arm for everyone to see. You, you are just a mask with nothing behind it. Hmm. No, you can't do this! Don't you care? Don't you care about Oscar or Decap? That's enough! Everyone stay back! I'm gonna give you a sporting chance here. Billy, Once wait. I let go of the spoon, there ain't no coming back. Don't do this! Run! <laughs> Did she take the can from him? She's a thief. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, great. Come on, Jerry. Oh, sorry. Oh, really? I died? <laughs> Whoops. All right, let me try that again. This time I'll make sure to pay attention to which ones I'm supposed to hit.
Oh no, come on. Oh. Nope, didn't make it again. All right, well, your turn, Nima. I mean, guess he's gonna have to do it too. All right. Hmm. Silver, yeah, well. Hmm. Is anybody hurt? Is everyone all right? You mean, besides being trapped in this bubble by that desgraciado, we're as good as dead. Don't say that. Somebody might, somebody will come for us. Oh, Jerry, Yoder left us here. He'll take the boat and not tell anyone about us. Maybe he won't take the boat. He has the canister. He knows where the boat is. He, uh, doesn't have the canister. <laughs> I'm sorry. I promise not to steal anymore. Okay, but... that one's a freebie. Jerry, look! Oh, oh great. Just great. Why is it flooding? Must be the damage to the door. We're losing air pressure. This place will flood right up to the highest hole in the room. Damn it! Even if we could open the door against the pressure, the whole rotunda is flooded. There's nowhere to go. Wait a second. Hmm. I remember. Maybe there still is a way out. If we swim. swim. Swim? We won't make it 20 feet with that Mosasaur swimming around. Maybe. Look at that pipeline. It leads out of this lagoon. There are caves at the far end. Those caves connect to others that lead back to the beaches. Hmm. Use the pipeline as cover. And you think we can hold our breath the whole way? Dad, look. There's diving here. No. Oh, hey. There you go. First thing about scuba diving. I do. What? We have to distract the Mosasaur. Figure something out and meet us back down here. Scuba diving? Oh, come on. How could this be so complicated? I don't know thing one about diving. Dad, don't mess with the mixture valve. They're all preset. Since when do you know about diving? Remember those lessons you wouldn't let me take? <laughs> Ride my decision? Um, actually, Steve bought me lessons. It was a secret. Mom's boyfriend? Yeah. If it's any constellation, I got grounded and Steve slept on the couch for a week. <laughs> All right. I wonder how long it'll take for this room to flood. Let's not find out, Dad. Do we need the wetsuits? The water should be warm. This deep and this time of the day? We would totally go hyperthermic. Don't worry, Dad. Neoprene makes everyone look good. <laughs> All right. Let's see. How are you holding up? How are you holding up, Jess? Okay, I guess. I'd feel a lot better if we weren't trapped in the bottom of the lagoon. Don't worry. We're going to get out of this. Are you sure about these sea caves? I used to swim this lagoon as a child. With the air tanks, it'll be easy. Famous last words. <laughs> Nothing. Good point. Let's see, what else can we do here? I'll be right back. Feeder program. Hmm. Okay, maybe we can distract him by uh, setting out the fish. Hatchery B, pool four. That looks like the one scheduled for today's feeding. Hatchery B, pool four. <whistles> Peter program initiated. <whistles> no. He's eating them. Okay, Hunter, what do we do? Dad, I changed my mind. These are rebreathers and I've never actually used one. I'm not ready for this. Hey, hmm. you can do no. this. No, what if something goes wrong? I don't want to do this. I don't want anyone else to get hurt. Hmm, be brave. I trust you. I love you. Sweetheart, look at me. You were right about me. I don't give you the trust you deserve. 
I don't give you a chance to prove it either. But here, now, you've done more than enough to earn that trust. I know you're capable of great things. I trust you, Jess. I know this is something you can do. I just... I just don't want you to go away. I'm so tired of you always going away. I know, honey, but I'm here right now. And I'm not gonna leave you alone. I'll be here with you all the way. Now, what's the diver signal for okay? It's universal. Duh. <laughs> right. Well, I promise to signal you whenever you check on me, okay? I'm scared. I am too, but I know we'll make it with your help. Okay, Jess, you ready? Yeah, let's do this. So, how do these things work? Well, these are closed circuit rebreathers. They look custom designed. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and stop it here, guys. Uh, thanks for joining me for another random distractions video and would definitely appreciate a like, of course, on the video and make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll know when the next one drops and we'll see if we can swim out of here uh, and see if everybody makes it. Uh, until then, hope you have a good one.